Hi, I'm Angelo with Romeo Tree Service, and today we are at this small mesquite. It does have an issue though. It has a co-dominance issue where it has included bark. You see what's happened is this started to grow just as a branch on this leader here or this trunk. When it started to get more dominance, it started to become just as thick as its trunk or on the way to becoming just as thick. In that process, because it has a V-type union rather than a U-type union, that V union and the growth of both the limbs, they start to push up against one another as they increase in diameter. And then it becomes a problem because the lesser branch will end up breaking off and tearing down uh, to the base of the tree. So in order to mitigate this issue, uh, about two years ago, I brought down, well, actually, let me start with saying this. Should we just take it out completely? Well, this was two years ago that I, I started uh, mitigating this issue. And had I taken it out completely to solve the problem, I would be taking out about 45% of the entire crown, which would have just been too much. So rather than that, two years ago, I brought down two limbs, this one here and this one here. And then a year ago, I brought down another limb, this one here. So over time, I'm decreasing the amount of space that limb is taking up in the crown. The limb that I want to remove, over time, I'm decreasing the amount of space it's taking up in the canopy. And then eventually, like today, I'm going to take it completely out. So here we go. Let's just make it smaller and easier to deal with. Now, co-dominance in and of itself is not necessarily an issue because if there's a U union, mesquites and Palo Verdes, we call them Sonoran Desert multi-trunk trees. That's what most people like about them, that multi-trunk growth pattern that they have, how they grow horizontal. That's what most of us like about them. But when they grow in that V union, that's when it becomes problematic. So here it is, the third year, and I'm finally going to get to remove this. And you can't really tell much difference in the crown because we did it over time. Making a cut like this, as you get to the end, you want to be careful not to cut into the main trunk or to score it. So I'll slow down as we get closer there. And break it off is fine. Oh, there we go. No, nope, that's good. Perfect. Then let's have a look at these remaining sprouts that are here. This sprout is in the same position as this sprout was four or five years ago. And look where it's going. It's a low branch. It's a sprout, but still it's a low branch that goes to a high place. So in order to avoid the problem here that I just solved, in order to avoid the same thing happening with this sprout, I'm going to subordinate it back to this little branch here. Now, subordinating is simply making a lower limb be lower. A lot of times these lower limbs will try to go to upper places, and then that's when you get into the co-dominance issue. So if you have lower branches that are trying to go to high places, make reduction cuts on them to subordinate them from the main trunk so you don't end up with this problem of uh, co-dominance and included bark and impossible breakage. This is another mesquite with a similar branch having included bark. If you look right here, here's the included bark. This limb started growing as a sprout probably five to seven years ago. And as it became more dominant in the crown, it started to become just as thick as the leader or trunk that it's on. The possibility, of course, is that maybe five to 10 years from now, they push up against one another so severely that this sprout breaks off and when it breaks off if it's five to seven years from now this just might be you know 40 45 percent of the crown breaking out of the tree all at once so rather than taking it out completely right now because that would be too much material being taken out of the crown we're going to do it over two or three years and this year we're going to go to the top and make a reduction cut probably two or three of them so that we essentially make this less than 
so that everything else can become greater than. And then a year later, we'll do it again. And then a year after that, we'll finally make this cut. So at no time did we ever take out too much material at once from the crown. So the cut I'm gonna make, if you look, as we continue to go up here, we're gonna make a cut, a reduction cut. Remember, a reduction cut is cutting a leader back to a branch. So I found a nice branch to cut this leader back to. Uh-oh, here it goes. And there it was. We're going to make one more. And remember, it's all about making the problem branch less than, so all the other branches around it can become greater than, so it's not as influential in the crown, so that we may eventually remove it completely. Now, it's not always necessary to remove a problematic branch completely so for example again this is a v union if it were a u union i would have less of a tendency to want to remove it completely and i would hope that in the future maybe it would offer a branch maybe right here or right here so that i can make this reduction cut keeping it subordinate from the entire crown and if it did offer a branch right here, we could make that reduction cut because you could only make a reduction cut back to wherever the tree offers a branch to make that cut to. Thank There's a, another mesquite that was planted at the same time right over here. And I just want to show this one because it too grew a lot of sprouts over the past uh, season. And some of these sprouts like this one here, it's a low branch that's going to a high place. And a lot of customers might ask me, they might say, well, why don't you just take that sprout off? Well, that's because the sprout is going to be part of the crown eventually. It's going to be simply a lower branch on the tree. And we want to keep as much green material as possible because green is food. Photosynthesis uh, ends up giving you a stronger root system and a stronger scaffolding system. Additionally, when you have branches in the inner crown, they help to absorb the vibration of the wind so that that vibration doesn't just whip out to the ends of the long limbs. It has to go through everything in the inner portion first before it gets out there. So it dampens the vibration uh, that goes all the way to the top. And thirdly, all of this lower material, it serves as a photosynthesis process in lower light conditions. It does better at, at uh, absorbing the nutrients from the sun in lower and lower light conditions. Think of it this way, that the green material at the very top is in direct sunlight. And so it's less sensitive to the sun and that means it does a lot better at collecting nutrients in direct sunlight. Tucson, Arizona, mid-July, mid-afternoon. Well, the lower you go down in any crown, naturally the more shade there's going to be and the more sensitive the green material will be, the chlorophyll will be, to collecting nutrients from the sun. That means it collects uh, nutrients better in lower light conditions. So when are these low light conditions? Cloud cover? Yes, absolutely. But more importantly, at dusk and dawn, because dusk and dawn happen six to seven hours every single day. So that means a, a tree, really any tree, that has a nice lower crown that's been nurtured, is spending six to seven hours more every single day over the course of its 25 or 125 year life collecting nutrients not only for the scaffolding system but for the root system and when the root system becomes stronger and more efficient it bounces right back and makes a stronger more efficient scaffolding system so we like these sprouts but we do not want them to become dominant like the sprout that was on the other tree so we make reduction cuts on them to keep them subordinate. So for example, this sprout right here, it was going up to a high place, but we subordinated it by making a reduction cut, cutting a leader back to a branch. Now this sprout, it's going to a high place. And this is when you get, this is when you start to get thoughts. Thoughts about, gosh, I wish there was a branch right here because that would be an excellent reduction cut. But sometimes it doesn't offer it. So my option is either I could take this sprout out this year or wait till next year and buy some time and maybe it will offer a branch somewhere on this leader that I can reduce it back to. That's it. Thanks for watching. 
If you'd like to learn more about Mesquite and Palo Verdes, consider going to our website, RomeoTreeService.com, to purchase our tutorial.